Tango Fett here to give you your Star Wars comic book news, reviews, impressions, and um, and video game news. Uh, today I'm doing Knights of the Republic Omnibus Volume One impression video, and um, I just got it today, and uh, I pre-ordered it. Got it really cheap on Amazon. Definitely recommend you guys buy this. And um, this is the Omnibus Volume 1, like I said. And it contains issues number 1 through 17. And it's a pretty much a standard Omnibus 350 to 500 page. No, I'm sorry. It's 350 pages to fi uh, through a 400 page Omnibus. Uh, pretty much standard it's pretty standard but uh here it is it's pretty awesome um i've already read this series like two or three times love it every time uh this is probably like my fourth time reading this right now and um i will also do a spoiler free and or i should say no spoilers and a spoiler heavy review for this omnibus volume as well two different videos no spoilers and spoiler free so check out check those videos out I'll try to put those links later on and try to post those on YouTube later but here it is Omnibus Volume 1 um, I got it in super early and uh, let's just, just let's just check the back cover and the price is usually around $25 in US money $28 in Canadian Pretty much standard omnibus. Pretty much every standard omnibus. So, let's read this. Um, what does this say? So, the first thrilling piece of Zane Carrick's Star Wars saga begins here, thousands of years before Luke Skywalker destroys the Death Star. And this is approximately like 4,000 years before they blow up the Death Star. So, yesterday, a struggling Padawan today, a fugitive charged with the murder of his fellow Jedi and Drain Zane has been framed by his own masters for the massacre they committed. Pursued by Jedi determined to stop him from revealing the truth, Zane will find unexpected allies while on the run. A scheming conman, a senile genius, and his fierce protector. Uh, and his fierce protector, deadly droids, and even fearsome Mandalorians. The story in this omni the stories in this volume takes place after the events in Star Wars Omnibus Tales of the Jedi. Volumes 1 and 2, definitely recommend reading those. And before the events in Star Wars The Old Republic, Volume 1, The Blood of the, em Blood of the Empire. And, uh, yeah. I mean, this, this actually takes, this book actually takes place right before the video game itself. So definitely check out the video game and check out this book as well. You don't have to read... You actually don't have to play the video game to read this series. You do not have to play the video game. You do not have to play the video game to understand anything that's happening. You can if you want to, and you will understand it better, in my opinion. But I like I've played the video game so many times. It's my favorite of all time, and just just definitely ch check this check this book out. Check the video game out. I guarantee you'll have a good time with it. So. Let's open this up. Let's open this bad boy up. Omnibus, Volume 1. Okay. Alright, so here it is. Here's the beginning. It is a time of upheaval for the galaxy. The Mandalorian Wars have strained the Old Republic's resources to the breaking point. With so many forces at the front, systems in the Outer Rim teeter on the edge of lawlessness. Even the city world of Terrace once a thriving commercial center, here as elsewhere. Here as elsewhere, the Republic relies increasingly on Jedi Knights and their students to help maintain order. But some Knights, frustrated with the conduct of the wars, argue for a, a more active Jedi role, appealing to others for support, even those Jedi and their untried students who are struggling to help maintain order at home. So, here are the contents... Crossroads, Commencement, Flashpoint, Homecoming, Reunion, Days of Fear, Nights of Anger. And it shows the page numbers right there. So, let's see. We got, yeah, around 360 pages. So, wow, that's a lot. That's good. 
So this would probably be like around, probably like 400 maybe. And, uh, I'm just reading this right now. Um, oh yeah, and this contains issues number 0 through 17. 0 is just pretty much, oh yeah, this is the best cover. This is my favorite cover uh, of the series, if you count number 0. If you don't count it, it's probably number 7. Number 7? Yeah, number 7 in my opinion. But here it is. Pretty badass. I really like it. It shows all the characters, main characters, in the series. Artwork is fantastic. Yeah, wow. That's, it's still, it's really impressive to see in the book form. It's really awesome in the book form. Definitely recommend you guys buy this. Uh, Brian Ching artwork and written by uh, John Jackson Miller, who's an excellent writer. There's Zane. Okay. And just, just showing you just a couple pages to see what the artwork looks like. And also Michael Atia, who is also a great artist, does the artwork as well. They both share the workload. So, yeah, it looks awesome. Fantastic. Uh, there's, yeah, there's, uh, yeah, there's that. So, yeah, sometimes there's different artists every now and then for long, long comic series. If not, it's not really a big deal. Um, it might hinder it for some, for some times, uh, sometimes, but, uh, it's really not a big deal. Uh, I really like the artwork. I like switching artists for a long comic book series. This is not actually lasting till lasts for 50 issues, and it's just a great read. I absolutely must buy for Star Wars fans, and just wow, just look at that. And the only complaint I have for the series, for not just not for the series, but for the omnibus books, is that there's not any comic. Uh, I mean, uh, comic book covers. In these um, omnibus, uh, omnibus omnibus books, so at the end of the section, there's no there's no actual there's no actual uh, comic book covers that they actually show. They only show like two or three, but that's just about it. They don't show too much, and uh, yeah, that's about it. They don't show that many comic book covers, and that's my only complaint for the omnibus series, the Star Wars omnibus series. So, Star Wars: Nice Little Republic. Read it so many times, two or three times. Definitely recommend you guys buy this book. If you haven't already, check it out. It's on Amazon for like 15 bucks online. Buy it right now. Barnes & Noble for 25 bucks. It's worth the price. This is a great read. And uh, there's supposed to be three volumes of this series. Um, three volumes of the series supposed to come out. Uh, this is volume one. Volume two is set to come out December 18th. Volume 3 is set to come out somewhere in uh, 2014. So, definitely recommend you guys buy this series. Love it so far. Um, well, I, I love the whole series, but... <clears throat> great. It's a great read. Definitely recommend. It's worth the price. Artwork's fantastic. Writing is fantastic. So, I'll also put two sets of, video, two sets of videos. One video for no spoilers, uh, so I won't spoil anything in the video about this series and for this volume um, and volume 2 which I will do heavy spoilers it's taking me forever I haven't finished it yet but soon should uh, I should be able to finish it and uh, and I will post it on YouTube I'll post both those you uh, videos on YouTube so yeah that's about it so please like comment and subscribe to my channel Django Fett and tell me what you think of this series this volume one so far. Alright, see you guys.